All right, so to continue our jar of hearts paintings today, you are going to get a water container with a medium sized paintbrush. You are going to get a paint palette with a bunch of different reds and pinks. So let's take a look at this real quick. And the colors probably look a little different on the screen than they're gonna look in real life. This is kind of like a magenta pink. This is a hot pink. This is a peachy pink, a red. This is a metallic purple pink. And this one right here is brand new. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but it says that it's magenta and it looks more like a red pink to me. So let's find out. Remember? Maybe I will. Remember, I'm gonna zoom out. When we are swiping our extra water out of our brush, you pull it along the side of your cup. You don't tap it because you get paint everywhere. I got my arm wet. You make a mess. So let's try the newer color first. And I'm just gonna dance the tip of my brush in there. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and paint So, this is supposed to be magenta, and honestly, it's teetering on red for me. I'm just painting with the tip of my brush, and I'm going to want to paint more than one heart at a time before I switch my paint colors. So, maybe I color this guy. Sorry, paint this guy, not color, because there's a difference between painting and coloring, right? You color with markers or colored pencils or crayons, things that are dry. You paint with paint. Mm. Sit. Scoot over. Hey, peanut gallery. This video is capturing you talking when you're not supposed to be. All right, clean it out. I'm gonna try another color. So that's the dark pink. I'm gonna use my hot pink. So you can see that. Ooh. So I think I'm going to also give you a smaller paintbrush because even for Mrs. Shardle, this paintbrush is proving to be a little bit challenging, staying in the lines. Oops. So that time I painted three before I switched. How about I do my light pink? Now, you don't have to use all the colors. You could use just three. You could use all six. The choice is yours. And you're gonna continue this until it's all painted. Then you're gonna put it on the drying rack. Once I see that the majority of us are finished, I'm gonna show you the next project. Because this, we have one more step to do tomorrow, but we can't do it with the uh, wet paint. This paint 
right here is the same as the paint that you use the temper paint cakes, except those cakes were dry. So if I let this dry out, eventually all the water out of this paint that's liquid would evaporate and it would turn to a powder because tempera paint is a powder that you add water to to make it act like a paint. So if I let this dry out, it would look like little tiny soaps or little cakes like the other ones. But this covers a little bit better than these temper paint cakes that we used last time. Do you have questions on this part? Avery? Yeah. 